Scorpio, this is all about you. <sighs> I don't even know what day it is anymore. Like, honestly, God, I don't know how you're feeling. That's how I'm feeling. I don't even know what day it is anymore. But I do know that this is the Scorpio weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. And you will always have a weekly video for me. If you want them fresh off the press and you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Then you can ring the bell and you'll be notified as soon as I upload all the new videos. Uh, lots of info comes out for Scorpios and all the other signs that you might be curious about. So please do subscribe and, and ring that bell. Uh, this of course is the oracle card reading. It's not a horoscope, it's an energy reading. It's an intuitive energy reading using oracle cards. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Scorpio energy influences your natal chart or influences your life, because you could be dealing with a Scorpio, this video is for you. Comes to you when it's supposed to, of course. That's why I don't put dates on the videos anymore. But like I said, there is a weekly video. So um, I hope you guys will stay up to date. And there's always an extended video. <clears throat> which includes a full tarot card spread, a deeper dive into the energies that we come up with here on YouTube. I just saw 111 across the bottom, just saying. Um, a deeper dive, uh, more specifics, and it, it sort of personalizes, a more personal deep reading. And that also includes a full romance reading as well. So let's get into your energy, Scorpio, for this Scorpio, 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 messages for Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know? Okay, <laughs> let's put it this way, the cards are scattered, they're coming out all over the place. And I feel like this has to do a little bit with the frustration that I've been feeling inside of me building up. There's a frustration, anger, maybe jealousy, irritation, not feeling like somebody is loving you well enough or giving you all that you give them, a sense of why don't you include me? Uh, why am I always left out? Why do I always have to catch up or chase down your love? That kind of energy is, all around right now. Now, of course, you could not have anything to do with love or romance. This is energies, right? So it could be working at, at your place of work, this energy of why do I, why am I constantly, like, why am I not, not being given, not being received, like, not, not having somebody, why don't you ever include me? Why aren't I being included? Why aren't I being considered? Why am I being overlooked? That kind of energy. Of course, that could just be the Cancerian in me. Crowning your energy, dream the world into being, being stuck underground, being stuck with the dead things. Um, in other words, being stuck with those things that frustrate you. You could be suffering or struggling from addictions. And let me tell you, in quarantine, that is no freaking joke. Drinking too much, eating too much, smoking too much pot, all kinds of addictions coming and sort of bogging you down and being heavy, like getting sort of lost in that world of um uh world world of indulgences that sense of escapism needing to escape needing to get away uh not really looking forward like instead just being lost in where you are right now it could be a feeling of stuck being a feeling of oppression this is what's an energy that that's crowning you right now so or or dealing with this coming at you from the outside and feeling like well okay what's the way forward because i don't like i like overwhelmed, a feeling of being overwhelmed is the energy that's crowning your reading right now. Life is speeding up, perhaps too quickly. You could be dealing with a Gemini, which could be very manipulative in terms of, okay, not necessarily manipulative. It's, it's just that they communicate so differently and a sense of I'm taking off, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go in this way. Why, are, why don't you catch up? Why aren't you ca catching up? Or somebody trying to get away from you, somebody trying to push you away or push you at a distance, uh, keeping their distance from you or, or, or shake you loose. It's like almost like you could be dealing with somebody who's trying to shake you loose and disconnect from you. <sighs> okay. 
watch and wait this is piscean energy the energy of almost like sitting back and you can't believe that they're behaving like this you can't believe that they're treating you like this you would have this even come from like where is this energy coming from why are they acting like this didn't you just yesterday like love me and then all of a sudden there's this energy of like why did they change why did they switch all of a sudden they're like their demon selves dr mr frickin hyde has popped out and maybe it's you maybe it's them because you could reverse any of these energies but this is the energy of emotionally almost going into shock feeling like what is happening what is going on being really shocked this piscean energy of emotional shock because you just like what do i even do i'm feeling so much right now i don't know how to even move my arm and leg because there's too many emotions banging around inside of me like crazy it's almost like all the emotions are going on underneath right now on the surface you look like this calm cold like steady dead water which everybody knows is a very very dangerous thing for a water sign to be because if the water is that freaking still the swamp thing is about to crawl out that's that's kind of this energy pisces gemini pisces gemini a feeling of of emotions and intentions clashing colliding or maybe even feeling like your emotions are getting in the way of you being able to succeed and push forward. There could be some sort of emotional impediment or dealing with somebody that has some sort of emotional impediment that is not allowing them to make progress or move forward, not understanding why. What's the hang up here? Spirit has a plan. This is the energy of three plus five, which is eight, destiny, spiritual intervention, really needing spiritual inter intervention. So there could be a lot of praying going on, but this is like that, the, the Buddha, the Buddha bear. He's like looking at things objectively, being like spirit, take the wheel because I don't know what the heck is going on here. An objective perspective. But for right now, to me, this card, looking for inspiration, searching for inspiration, asking for help please go please lord please universe please angels somebody be out there to make me feel and make me heal somebody be out there because i i need i need help like somebody's got to come in and send down a ladder and carry me away like hashtag beam me up scotty um then we have as your central energy take a leap of faith so this is I think where you're at right now, a sense of, I just can't be stuck anymore. I just have to move because if I don't move, I'm going to disappear into this darkness that I'm stuck in. So I'm doing this for my sense of, I got to feel, I got to feel it to heal. I got to feel, I got to get going. I got to get movement back into my life. A sense of looking for faith, jumping into faith. You could have reached out to a deeper sense of spirituality. You could have started with your prayer beads or some sort of religion, maybe even getting into some sort of cultish stuff because it, not necessarily understand but there's that sense of only feeling like needing to connect with something and in times of desperation or when you feel isolated sometimes the only thing that you can find a connection with is a sense of spirituality so no it may not be like a, a, a direct cult though I would watch out if you are you may be dealing with somebody who is 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 not right right now with their emotions or in their head and doing things out of desperation <laughs> not that they're joining a cult actually but they're doing things and connecting with people who are more nefarious than they realize or making decisions that are not good for them you probably see this and are aware of it but then again they're not going to listen to you I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but I feel like there's this energy of being in emotional shock because you don't know how to stop this person from running off a cliff. And I got to tell you, Scorpios, sometimes you can't. Um, trust in divine detours. This is Sagittarius energy. Well, you're looking for ways out. You're looking for escape. You're looking for GPS, please take me. So you will, as soon as spirit opens up the door, and this is telling me spirit is gonna open up the door, look for those ways, those, those, those redirects, you're gonna get a major redirection and or that this is a major redirection for you. This is a shock to your system and your heart chakra because it was like a, a total uh, 180 and, and 
what what the cards are saying is trust it because this was bound to happen anyway i know sometimes especially when we really get into somebody we don't necessarily see this turnaround coming but simultaneously it's good that we see it i know it doesn't feel that way but it it's good it's good because why because it's shaking us loose from being stuck in a place that was going to drown us if, as water signs, you think, oh, we can't be drowned. But that's not true because we can be drowned in logic. We can be drowned in pragmatism. We can be drowned in rationale. We can be drowned in air because it's just not where we belong. We can be drowned in fire. We can be drowned in other elements like that, that, are, that are keeping us away or making our emotions unsafe for us or trapping us inside of our own emotions and not letting us move around. That's where we can be drowned. And so this shakeup is actually there to save you, even if it feels like it's killing you. Uh, sing your own song. And this is also the energy of three. And you're getting a lot of energies of three. So divine intervention and balance. This is also Gemini energy. Um, with communication, but this is you believing in who you are, speaking about yourself strongly, finding a sense of self-worth. It's also liberation because Geminis want to be liberated. They want to be set. They want to always feel free. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, this is a sense that they're, they're taking a, a sharp turn away from you. Or even if you're not dealing with Gemini, somebody in your life or a, a job or whatever could be taking a sharp turn away from you um, be, and, and going in a direction that you never expected and that they never really even talked to you about um, just because they got scared and wanted to be free. And this is a sense, or you could be going through this too, of just needing to get out of a circumstance or a situation that was making you feel trapped and repressed. Um, Take the lead. Ooh, ooh, this is the divine intervening and saying, you need to get this done. This needs to happen. So as horrible as it feels, remember how I said last time, I just, I just said it. I said, this, this has to happen. This is messages coming in directly from the ether. You, whatever's happening in your life right now that's causing the earth to quake under your feet is happening because there is things that need to be addressed or things that you are meant to do. Destiny is calling. That's why. And it's like, well, I need to shake them out of this to liberate them and get them back on track because right now they're kind of stuck or they're being blocked by their emotions. That's what's going on. So um, if you're getting left right now, if you're breaking up, if you're having uh, trouble at work or your life seems to be falling apart, this is it. This is like the blessed tower. This is like, we need, we need you liberated to push you in another direction. And usually it's a direction that is, I mean, check your natal chart. It's written there. It's, it's the destiny that was written the day that you were born. <clears throat> Surrender now to the divine. Um, like a moth to a flame, fly right into the sun and don't worry about getting burned because this card shows up when you need the purification of the fire. Yeah, it, it, it's like, it's like you need, you need to be burned down. That's the only thing that's going to liberate you is complete and total destruction. So you can rise from the ashes, but this is a sense Sagittarius energy. There's a lot of chaos around you right now. And it could be that you're retreating into yourself or going back into your depths or retreating into things that are like bad habits or, um, like, um, 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 yeah, like bad habits or, um, uh, addictions or things like that, a sense of, of, of trying to escape the inevitable. Um, but the inevitable is what's going to liberate you. Uh, time for a beginner mind. This is Aquarius energy. It's going to hurt. Uh, the, the, the new beginning is going to hurt. It's not going to be something that you can cuddle up with. It's going to be rough and it's going to be harsh and you have to approach it in a certain way and there's no way that you can avoid it. This is like stepping on a pin cushion or landing on spines or getting hurt, getting pricked, getting maybe even getting sick or being made unhealthy in order to get you completely and totally like, like spur you into like activate your DNA. A DNA activation to get you to change from the inside out because this is an alchemical change. Um, a, re a rebirth is assured. Coming out of the dark, dawning, growing, transforming into something else. So this is this is five, the energy of five, confirmation of change, confirmation of emerging from the dark. 
uh, turn knowledge into wisdom, uh, moon energy. So this is once again, Piscean energy. What this card says is you have felt this on the horizon. You've known this is coming. This is a psychic connection to what you know to be true, to falling headlong into destiny and you knew that it was gonna happen. This could be some sort of painful thing happening for you, um, some sort of uh, the, like the inevitable happening. And it's almost like you, you like 100%, you knew it, you felt it. Psych psychic connection and connectivity, also destiny. Mm. And then last but not least, clear out the clutter. Now we have Cancerian energy. We have Pisces energy, Cancerian energy. This is almost like starting at Scorpio, banging around to Pisces, going to um, Cancer. This is a sense of grand water trine, uh, going through all the experiences of the water sign from uh, cardinal through fixed through mutable and learning what to let go of and what you need and what has to go and what has to stay. This is what has to go. This is that energy of something has to be let go of. And I do believe it's whatever, whatever you're holding on to is setting that blockage for you. This is, I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces, but there is a sense of that emotional stuckness that is, and this is what the pain is there for, to push you out of the emotional stuckness because it's the only thing that'll get you moving in the direction that you need to go to a place now that will be better and healthier for you. That's what's going on. That's what's for real. Now, um, the players, like, I do feel like there, like, there definitely could be, um, like, you know what? Let me turn the camera around. Hold on. So there's a big grounding energy here. And you know what that tells me? You already know. <laughs> um, or, or I, I, okay, it's just a confirmation that it was inevitable. Um, Yes, you absolutely could be dealing with a sense of an inevitable future, a painful future, or trying to avoid uh, the inevitable, what's, what's going on, what's happening, holding on to, or just preparing now to be able to release. So there's a lot of moon energy here, and it's full moon energy. So it's like what needs to be released, and what needs to be relinquished, what needs to be let go of. The last full moon we had was Libra. So there's some sort of partnership that is deteriorating, Scorpio. And it's a sort of... It's driving you, could be literally driving you to drink, driving you insane, driving you to shut down, driving you to fall back on um, those vices. Um, or you're dealing with somebody who is, who has relapsed, or um, somebody who is just not really doing really well right now. And, and it's almost like feeling like you're trapped with them and that you're stuck with them and you're confined with them and you don't necessarily know how to, how to break free. Um, because they're so much a part of your identity or so much a part of your world, especially if they're like a boss or a job, it's like, you still need the money, like that, that type of energy. Um, this is saying, well, newness has to come. And unfortunately, this is the central energy, not unfortunately, but it means it, it has to be you taking the leap of faith to get out of the situation. So where do you need to leap? And it's almost like it's too murky. You, you, you don't, you can't see anything ahead of you. Um, what, right. Yeah. That's, that's the leap of faith. That's the trick. Like where, where do I go? Good question. Um, maybe we can get a little bit more about this, uh, in the, um, extended, I'm going to go over to the extended now Scorpio. And of course that includes your romance reading. I will see you guys over there. The link is below.